Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what I think are the habits of a successful software engineer. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. First of all, the habits that I'm going to list here apply to being a successful software engineer, not just a coder. Software engineering is way beyond just coding, but that is a topic for a whole new video. Let's get started. When I first started working in the field, I had an extreme urge to start coding right when I was given a project, a problem, a feature to implement. Because I felt that if I'm not coding, I'm just not being productive. But the reality is that most likely the software you're going to be built in is not going to be built fully by you from scratch. You're most likely going to be working on something that needs to fit in into the existing architecture. And what successful software engineers do is that they first fully understand the scope of the problem and only then, once you fully understand what exactly that you're solving, only then you should start coding. This brings us to point two. Successful software engineers are really good at documentation. Most likely you're not going to be the only one working on the project. There might be other engineers or designers or data scientists or product managers involved. And you need to make sure that whatever is in your head gets documented and then clearly communicate it for others. A successful software engineer will make sure to document every stage of his or her thinking of how they will approach the problem, what the solution of the problem is, what are the potential roadblocks to the solution of the problem, and they will communicate this to all the stakeholders and parties involved in this project. They will do that so that everyone is on the same page, and they will also do that to get feedback from everyone. Most likely, you might have overlooked something, and asking for feedback and being receptive to that feedback from everyone else is super important. The easiest way to get that feedback is to get everyone on the same page, document everything for everyone, and then share. Successful habit number three. Successful software engineers write readable code. And they do so because they understand that they will probably not be the only person interacting with whatever they wrote, or maybe after they wrote it, there is going to be someone else maintaining it. So they keep in mind the fact that someone will have to come in and look at this thing that they wrote that they have never seen before and understand it. Most importantly, your solution, your code must be readable because someone else might come in and want to understand it. Successful habit number four, is being good at cross-functional work. As a software engineer, you most likely will work with other functions like designers or product managers or data scientists or people in operations, you name it. A successful software engineer empathizes with the other function that they work with and almost put themselves in that person's shoes so that they can effectively communicate with them, they can deliver to them the exact information that they need. So if I'm working with a designer, I will try to explain to them what exactly I'm building from like the design perspective. If I'm working on a product facing feature, that's what I'm going to be focusing on in conversations with them versus the actual nitty gritty of technical implementation. If I'm working with a data scientist, I need to effectively communicate with them about logging or data analysis or just asking them the right question about how we want to analyze the data coming from this new project or feature that we've built. So being good at cross-functional work is really important as a software engineer. And this brings us to my next point. Communication. If you think that as a software engineer, you can just sit in a corner, not interact with absolutely anyone, 
you're definitely wrong. Of course, you should be setting your own boundaries and communication style, but successful software engineers are effective communicators. Successful software engineers make sure that they communicate clearly and effectively, especially if you work on a project that involves other stakeholders or you work with your teammates, other software engineers, you need to make sure that you communicate with them. And over communication a lot of times is much better than no communication because when you communicate or over communicate, you make sure that everyone is on the same page, you make sure that everyone is clear on what you're working on and you make sure that no one is wondering, oh, I wonder what Luba is working on, I wonder if she completed that thing that I asked her to implement a couple of days ago. So communicating effectively, clearly and potentially over communicating is extremely important. Also by communicating with your teammates, you can potentially recognize whether you can help them out or you can unblock them. And communicating in general, in your team, in your org, in your company, just interacting with people can open up opportunities for you. You might hear about something that another team is working on that fits in or helps out your product, your team or your project, and that will open up opportunities and doors for you. Next up, recognizing opportunities. Successful software engineers recognize opportunities for improvement and impact. And what I mean by that is that successful software engineers do not just focus on their projects or feature at hand that they're working on, but they're able to see and follow beyond that. They're able to follow what their teammates are working on, what their orgs focus is. And why that is important is because when you're able to see that big picture as opposed to being very narrow focused on, okay, this is what I'm working on and this is the only thing I care about, you're able to potentially recognize opportunities for impact and improvement. Question why people are doing things a certain way. You might learn new things that are relevant to you. You might also to potentially recognize what faults they have in their systems and improve them. Talking to people, asking people what they're working on, thinking about how their work fits in with what you're do doing or your team is doing are great examples for recognizing opportunities. And last but definitely not least is the growth mindset. Consistently learning, asking and being open to feedback, making sure you learn from your mistakes and reflection are all great examples of growth mindset. Growth mindset is the difference between thinking that your skill is absolutely set and is defined by talent versus thinking that you can learn and grow and improve your skills and your growth is defined by the amount of work you put in. To be a successful software engineer as well as being successful in any profession acts, you must acquire the growth mindset. Your skill is not fixed, you're constantly improving and learning and you need to absolutely own that and recognize that. Successful software engineers are constantly learning, constantly asking for feedback. In fact, feedback is also a huge thing. If someone is giving you feedback, do not be defensive about it. That means that they really care for you to improve. So you should be open to constantly learning and constantly recognizing what you could do better. Successful software engineers are open to learning, are constantly open to growing growing are absolutely okay recognizing that they might be wrong. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new about habits of successful software engineers. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. There is a subscribe button down below and please leave your comments down below as well. What do you think makes a successful software engineer? I would be really curious to hear your thoughts. Obviously, what I mentioned is just a couple of points in the myriad of things that makes a successful software engineer, but please share your thoughts. And I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye for now.